Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today we're going to disassemble grabber. The reason that we are disassembling grabber is that this simple tool is able to grab things with dexterity. So for example, if I try to grab this fabric, it's quite simple. And if I use two grabbers, I can even fold this, this fabric into a organized piece like this. And as you might know that our channel is originally meant to build a lot of machines, but one of them is prosthetics. Prosthetics requires dexterity such as being able to grab things with a very simple mechanism. And we thought that this grabber, which is used to grab trash or garbage from the floor, has a very unique mechanism that could be quite useful in terms of building a prosthetic hand, like design, for example. What we're gonna do is take this apart and then see what parts there are to enable this very simple mechanism of having this trigger to be a, like a gripping motion at the end. Without further ado, let's begin. Before even we disassemble, I just want to do a quick demo on how dexterous these grabbers can be. So I'm basically using these two only. Um, for example, we have three wires. So let's try to select yellow wire, you know, red wire. So here it is, white one and also the final one. I haven't tried, but let's see if I can plug this into the breadboard here. So, for example, if I try to locate this on the next two yellow wires. I wish that there was more, uh, there were more friction. Now it's on and I'll show you what I've done. See, I, I didn't randomly put it right next to the yellow wires where I intended to do. these so just as we are folding our laundry this and put it on top for example just like that another demo whatever okay, it seems like there is some um, metal cables that is enabling this to pull through I try to restore as much as I could after disassembly I mean dissecting it. So inside a pipe, what it really is is a very simple metal wire that's able to pull the pull the string here. So when the gripper is open like this, there's a mechanical spring that's able to put the gripper back to its original position. So once it's pulled with the linkage system, there is a spring that holds the position and this movement is governed through the linkage hole that you see here. So it's a revolute joint here and here. And also inside this gripper, we can see that there's a metal pin that's connecting these two at the same spot, but also at the same time pulling this in this direction. So when it's open, it's like this. And when it's, when it's pulled, the middle joint actually pulls in this direction where it makes a closed grip like this. And it's only moved in a joint because these two are bound to this revolute joint. Thanks to the slot and pin system, the movement is synchronized. If we pull the cable back, then it's easy to make this closed grip. However, without any spring, there is no restoration force. So by having the spring inside here, it always pushes back to its original position. That's why we're able to 
grab, and once you release, it goes back to the original position. Very simple mechanisms, but these can be applicable to prosthetic hand that we're building. The movement are asynchronized, but if we add pin in the middle, then we can see everything moves in the motion, the same motion like this. Especially if we pull the pin in the middle, almost in the middle, then it makes like a synchronized motion. So that was it for today's episode and hopefully in the next episode we'll be able to utilize mechanisms that we found from this grabber into a working prototype. Thank you for watching.